mountains and mountains of illusions, the layers of illusions seeping into the earth of my body. Deja vu all over again and again. Will this cycle ever stop? Will the pattern ever cease existence? Wallowing in the false world that was created in front of me, the false world that was manifested from a grown man that appeared as a little lost boy. A little boy that was frightened to put his feet on the ground, afraid to call himself a human being. Delusional between planet Earth and outer space, the manifestations of lost dreams and false hopes, of dark, of dark illusions, only to leave me in quicksand. The grown man that stood before me unfolded under the full moon. The moon flower of that man unfolded. Out came a scared, delusional, lost little boy. He claimed to be not of this world, but to be of the world of illusions. There I stood in front of the mirror of illusion. I was brave enough to shatter the glass. I walked through the mirror only to finally find my way back to earth, my way back to the truth. The truth shall set you free. For me, the truth is love. It was true love all along within me. Now I am free, like my birds, <laughs> transformed by butterflies, finally free from the little lost boy of illusions. Here I am, feet planted deep into the earth's core, to the core of my heart, where all my truth resides where my forever is. Thank you, little boy, for helping me find my way home. Stop, breathe, check in. Check in if you are tending to your old ways. <laughs> Slow down. Slow is progression. Slow is the new way of being. Slow is the future. Slow is healthy detachment. Slow is easy. Slow is flow. <laughs> Slow is the sun rising, sun setting. Slow is the moon in full, moon in new. And now, there you are. Here you are. Breathe and pray. There, you feel God. And that's all you need is God. And now you're free like a bird. <laughs> Be here now with you, with God, and with your heart, your true love, and your prayers. Pause. Cosmic fallacies. <laughs> Endless yoni universes collide and mesh into existence. And now, here we all are trying to solidify our beings, trying to attach an umbilical to our existence, trying to add science to it, science of the unknown. It is forever deep. It is forever penetrating. We cannot control the depth or even the sharpness of ourselves. But then where should we reside in the midst of the contrast? There we should be, there we should reside. Where is that there? There it is, in our heart. The heart where the depths, the sharpness, can now form a tremendous and endless curve. There in the heart where we could and can, and sometimes even will it to be the perfect union the cosmic blend of all that exists with the depths and contrasts and even the curves within ourselves, where all of it exists because it wants to and because it desires to and because it wills itself to. The dance of the ego and heart is of a timeless ballroom dance, ecstatic, sensual, erotic, intertwined, never-ending dance. 
feeling of the storm, storm within myself, waiting for the direction of where it may go, endless time and time of dances within myself. Timing is of the essence, waiting is of slow death, waiting is of slow torture. Let me bury myself in the unknown trenches of wave after wave of infinite darkness where the unlimited potential remains. It remains there because it cannot be seen by the human eye, the limited, pathetic, judgmental human eye. The human eye is of but like an arrow waiting to strike the heart of others, like a hunter on a quest, waiting, being tortured in the waiting. For the prey is not naive. The prey is a creature of great observation. It thrives in the waiting. It thrives in the trenches of the infinite darkness only to wait for the predator, where the tables will then turn because of the treacherous act of waiting. There lies the unlimited potential. The unlimited potential, the prey, they are one. They patiently wait for the predator, for the predator to join the essence of waiting in the trenches. There they can dance amongst themselves within the waiting. There in the trenches, the unlimited potential, the prey and the predator realize they are no different from one another. They realize that they all were birthed from the dark, deep trenches of waiting. <laughs>